Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is the first video I am sitting down for my YouTube channel as like a sit down video in my new office slash content space. If you haven't seen my moving video or like catch up with me on life vlog, I will link it down below. But I am in my office. It is a little bit echoey. I'm still trying to work through that and find um, a solution for it just being a little bit of a better um, audio setup. So bear with me for this video while I get that sorted. But without further ado, let's get on into what this video is actually about, which is a CRZ Yoga try on haul and impressions review, whatever you wanna call it. CRZ Yoga was kind enough to send me a care package of eight items, I believe, to try out and review for all of you. We all know that I'm addicted to activewear and it's been a minute since I have uploaded a video about the stuff. We're gonna go over the fit, the feel, how it washed, how it held up during my workouts, the price point, all the stuff. So if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos, the thumbs up button, and comment down below if you own something from CRZ Yoga or maybe something you liked in this video that you may pick up. I will have a link and a discount code listed in the description box. If you guys do choose to shop through it, I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media. I have really been putting a lot of time into my TikTok as of the last year or so. So if you haven't gone over there to follow me, I would really appreciate the follow. I record very similar stuff to what I do here on YouTube, but just shorter forms of content, so. Yeah. I want to give a quick disclaimer and say that Sierra's Yoga is not paying me to say anything in this video. These are all my 100% honest reviews and opinions on the product. So I just wanted everyone to be aware of that. All right, I got a lot to say about these items. So let's get on into the video. So we're gonna tackle leggings first. I picked up three different pairs. I picked up the Air Feel, I picked up the Butterlux, and I picked up the Naked Feel. So the Naked Feel from my understanding and from what I remember is probably one of their first launch leggings years ago. And then they did the Air Feeling and then their most newest one is the Butterlux collection. So they also have sports bras and shorts in that fabric and all. The first leggings I'm gonna go over are the Naked Feel leggings are in the 25 inch inseam in the color black. I did get all three pairs of leggings in black because it is the most worn color for me. And I find that those are the ones that are constantly going into the laundry hamper and I need to just be able to grab another pair. So I'm sorry on camera if you're not gonna really be able to tell the differences between the leggings visually, but I will describe everything to you. So I got these in a medium. I believe I got all three leggings actually in a medium. They hit at a really good spot on me. I'm about five, seven and a half, five, eight, and I'm about 150 pounds as of late. The legging does include a pocket on the inside of the waistband, which I'm not a huge fan of. I never tend to use these and I just kind of find it a little bit of a bulk and of a waste of space. I'm sure some people would appreciate it when they're on a run, when they wanna put their house key inside or their credit card. I wanna mention with a lot of these pieces, I feel like they're really trying to mimic Lululemon. We all know how great the quality of the clothing items are and the customer service being fantastic, um, but this is at a different price point. I also wanted to mention the logo here. The logo is very similar to the Lululemon one and the inside also has a tearaway tag. Now I can't say that this is a copy to Lululemon because a lot of companies, well, they are, I guess, copying in a way with the tearaway tag, but this is a good copy. I like that this company is doing this. I like that a lot of activewear brands are doing this nowadays because who wants an itchy tag on the inside of their leggings or pants in general? So I wrote some notes of what the legging is made up of. This is 71% polyamide and 29% spandex. So I overall don't love the feeling of these leggings. Now comparison into the other two, when I first tried them on, I was like, wow, they're so soft. And they're soft, but they're not as soft as the other ones I will be sharing. I did find that throughout my workout, they were falling down my waist a little bit. And I couldn't really imagine sizing down because if I size down to a small and I'm 150 pounds, 5'8", I can't imagine what an actual smaller person, like a petite would fit into, like an extra small, but then even the girls smaller than that, what would they fit into? I'm not sure. So it would be hard for me to justify sizing down. Um, I think it would fit better, but it really boggles my mind as to what other females then would be wearing. Um, they are pretty squat proof. I wanna say they're like an eight arm tunnel and squat proof scale. I did squat in front of my boyfriend at the gym and he said you could see a little bit of the tag showing through and I know you would tear this off so you typically wouldn't see that if you choose to rip it off, which you probably will because it's itchy. But it didn't really bother me. And the other leggings that I will get into when I tore away the tag and asked my boyfriend if they were squat proof, he said yes. And the percentages of fabrics aren't that crazy of a difference for me to believe 
that none of them would be swap proof. They'd probably be very similar across the board. So these ones weren't my favorite now in comparison. I like where they hit on my waist. I like how high rise they are. I like where they hit on my ankle. I just don't love that they kind of slide down throughout my workout. And I'm not in love with the pocket on the inside. Another thing I wanted to note is there is a center seam in the middle of the lady part on almost every single bottom here. And I just want to say that I feel like we're very far beyond that now. There are so many companies I could go on listing them that have now gotten rid of the front seam so it could prevent camel toe. And I think Sears Yoga is still a little bit stuck in the past with the placement of having that still on a legging. It's personally not my preference to have a seam there anymore if I was given the option and if there's two leggings to choose from, but the majority of the bottoms on CRZ Yoga's website do have the seam in the center still. And I also wanted to note most of the clothing items I got were in a size medium and I just found that they weren't true to size. I feel like I have to size down in almost everything if I were to go through this process again other than the sweater, which I will get into in a bit. The booty scale rating for these, I would say is a eight out of 10. They are very flattering. The next pair of leggings are the air feeling legging in the 25 inch inseam and they are in black. And these have my heart. These feel very similar to the Lululemon Aligns. I can't say they're an exact dupe, but they are the most similar out of the ones that I have tried in this bundle of clothing. They are so incredibly soft and they do feel brushed, although I don't think they market that on the website on this item, which is interesting. I don't think that these fall down at all and these are a size medium. I think they hug my waist so nice. I love where they hit again. I like how high rise they come. These are the only leggings I did tear away the tag from the inside. And I just wanna show that it's already fraying um, and they've gone through maybe two washes. So that was just like a little bit disappointing and the finish on the side here too, there's some fraying there as well. Again, we have the center seam in the middle of the legging, but we don't have a pocket on the inside this time for your key or your credit card, which I like. I like a seamless waistband. I don't like a top little seam either. I think they could have done a little bit more and done a little bit more of a V back. It didn't have to be an exaggerated glute seam, but I think just a little bit more enhancement would have been nice. So these leggings do fit true to size to me. And I also got these in a medium. Now these were 81% polyamide and 19% elastane. They, I would say, are like a 10 out of 10 on the squat proof test. I couldn't see anything. And they also stayed up throughout my entire workout and the booty scale. I think I would say like an eight, eight and a half out of 10, which is pretty good. Like I said, if we exaggerate the glute seam a little bit more, I would give it a little bit of a higher rating. I don't know if I just got a defective pair with the stitching starting to come apart, or if that actually is just poor quality stitching. Um, I guess we'll find out with the next ones I'm about to show you because that stitching hasn't fallen apart yet. The next pair of leggings are from the Butterlux collection, which is their newest collection. These are the ones that they claim are the most similar to the Lululemon Align leggings. Now I beg to differ. I think that the air feeling legging is slightly closer but this one is still definitely in the same fabric family it's still very soft it doesn't say it's brushed but it feels brushed it hits at a really good spot at the waist again again it has a center front seam but it has a nice length on the bottom it fits really well on me lengthwise oh man but now i'm noticing there is a little bit of stitching coming apart again it's hard to tell because they are black leggings and these ones are made out of 81% polyamide and 19% lycra i'm pretty sure the align leggings that are made out of nulu are actually some makeup of Lycra. So that would make sense that they would market these ones to be closer to that legging. Um, I like these, they're pretty good. I just do prefer the air feeling ones over these. Moving on to the Naked Feel joggers. I got these in the gray sage color in a medium and these are quite large on me. I assumed they would fit more like an Align jogger. I tried an Align jogger on in the store and if you guys are familiar with that, you obviously know it looks like a jogger, but it's fitted like a legging essentially. And this is a medium and they just felt really baggy. There was a lot of extra room. It was not tight to my calf or my thigh or my body, um, but I do really, really like the color. I like where it hits on me. It is a 28 inch inseam. So for a jogger, that's good because I don't want my ankles freezing in the winter time. There's so much excess fabric. Um, there's pockets on the side. I really do like the seam across the booty though. I think that contours and makes the backside look quite nice. These are very soft though. Again, there is the tearaway tag that you can rip off. They did wash well. I don't see any seams or threading coming apart, but then again, it hasn't been through that many washes yet. So I will 
have to update you guys again, but so far so good. And I did a squat test in these as well. I wouldn't typically wear these for the gym for leg day or really working out. They'd be more of an athleisure, go get coffee, do some errands, tight pants, but they looked pretty squat proof to me, so that was good. I did wanna also do a color comparison with Lululemon's Gray Sage because I'm so curious with how close they got. Even with the name, this is the jogger, okay? And these are Lululemon aligned leggings, just so you guys believe me that they are Lululemon. They are pretty close, man. The CRZ Yoga ones have a little bit more of a blue undertone, whereas these feel like a little bit more of an olivey green undertone but they are close. Moving on to shorts, I got two pairs and I really wish that they had Butterluck shorts because they didn't have any shorts in the Butterluck collection other than the biker shorts with pockets and I'm not really into that or like the biker length for the gym at least. So I got the Naked Feel shorts brushed and non-brushed. So the ones I got non-brushed were black, six inch, and I got them in a medium. These feel exactly like the naked leggings just cut basically um but they do feel a little bit sleeker actually i lied they feel a little bit sleeker if you're familiar with lululemon's material luxe stream it kind of feels like that a little bit more of that athletic slippery feel not as soft again we have the front seam which we don't love but they do look really flattering on like i definitely would wear these to the gym on a consistent basis especially when i'm rotating through my shorts in the summer um i do like a six inch i think it's just like perfect on me actually like the perfect length on me would be a seven inch because when they ride up a little bit naturally, then it would be like a six inch, which would be perfect. But yeah, overall, I do like these ones. They look great on the booty. I would say like a nine out of 10 on the booty scale. They are squat proof, so I would say they're probably like at least a nine out of 10 on the squat proof scale. Booty enhancing, tearaway tag, got these in the medium. I don't see any stitching coming apart on these. And these also have the little pocket on the inside of the waistband. And the second pair of shorts I got were the brushed version in a six inch in the color dark carbon. This reminds me a lot of that dark gray that Lululemon offers. I forget the name, but it's very similar. Same size, same fit and feel for the most part. I do want to say though, the waistband on this is like at least a centimeter higher. So I don't really know what's going on with that. I don't mind it. I really like high-waisted things. Like the higher the waist, the better for me. But I did a little comparison, which I'll overlay the clip of um, me trying my best to line them up for you guys to see. But yeah, these are slightly higher. They are softer, like now holding them in my hand. These definitely do feel brushed. They feel closer to the aligned legging material than these ones do. I don't see any unraveling on the seams, which is good. Again, we have the front seam, which we need to get rid of. The only thing that bothered me about these ones, and I don't know if it's because of the color, because you can't tell on the black ones, there's a lot of like pulling and bunching on my front, like on my hip leg area, you'll kind of see me pointing in the try on clip. So I don't love that because I do some jumping jacks and some high activity motions in this try on clip so you guys can really see them kind of move and then start to bunch. I don't love the look of that, but I do like how these feel on. I do like the color. I do like how they look on the booty scale. These also are squat proof. I wanna say nine out of 10 on the squat proof scale. And booty dancing, I'd maybe say it's like an eight out of 10. Okay, two more items and then I swear we are done. The first one is the Naked Feel Soft Long Line Bra with the keyhole back. This one is also in gray sage. I really have a thing for Grace Age. <laughs> um, I got this in a medium, but I did want to mention that I do have a CRZ Yoga from Amazon that I got a few years ago, which I will pop over a clip because I'm pretty sure I have it in a different try on haul video. And I ordered that one in a large because I read all the reviews and everyone said to size up, so I did. And then for this one, people said to size down. So I thought since my size was a large and their sports bras in the medium would fit me, I should have sized down to a small. There is a little bit of like, pulling and just like gaping and I feel like if the straps were just pulled up a little bit then I would have a little bit of a more comfortable setup when I'm working out. I really like how it feels on though it is so soft and I like the back crisscross detail. I don't typically like it with thinner straps because it really tugs on my traps and I can't wear those for very long but because these are thicker I find they're a little bit more support on you know holding up the girls. I really like the cute little keyhole back and then you have the optional removable cup pads if you choose to so many girls i feel like don't wear their cup pads but i'm a cup pad girl i think it's because i'm heavier chested i would feel weird <laughs> without them so for the sports bra i would say it is medium coverage but low support i do a couple jumps in it in a clip just so you guys can see and i'm not super held together um so it'd be a little bit uncomfortable running this but for my normal weight 
training days, this is absolutely fine. I love this color. And last but not least, we have the brushed half sip long sleeve crop, which I think is my personal favorite. I love the length of this on me because I am taller. It's not like ridiculously cropped, you know. Crop tops that are the length of a sports bra. Like girls who have a chest, need a little bit more room because that fabric curls underneath and then it just, it's not a good time. So I really appreciate when companies do a proper crop. We got the tearaway tag. I got this in a size medium, but if I were to go back in time, I think I might get a small because there is some excess room in this again, but I don't know if a small would be too small. I think the bottom like flares out a bit and I wish that was kind of tapered in, but I don't think that would have changed with size. It's just the style of the top. The bottom is not like cinched in tight like that, um, but it is fairly comfortable. I love where it hits on my wrist length. I like how deep the zipper goes. You really have like the option of really zipping it all the way up or just like a little bit of a quarter zip, which I feel like most quarter zips aren't that much of a zipper space and this one is quite deep which is nice it's nice and breathable and then we also have thumb holes which i'm never really a fan of i never use and i find that these thumb holes the fabric is quite rough here so it's not like not the most comfortable i just wouldn't really wear the thumb holes but i do like this i probably wear this the most out of any piece just because it's so easy and light and soft to throw over um any sports bra and this one i could definitely see myself getting more colors in so my overall thoughts on the crz yoga pieces the front seams have got to go and the sizing was not fully true to size. I felt like everything fit a little bit too big on me. I don't know if I sized down and everything, if that would have helped, but I do want to end this video on a positive note. I will say their price point is great. If you purchase on Amazon, it comes in a jiffy. I have purchased one of their sports bras in the past and I absolutely love it. So I still do like CRZ Yoga as an overall brand. And that was my review and try on haul for you guys. Again, if you guys are interested in purchasing, don't forget to use my link in the description box below. There also will be a code there. And thank you CRZ Yoga again for partnering with me on this video. I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.